How's it going everybody? Stogie Farts here. This is going to be sort of part two of my aquaponics video. My last video I was showing you how I was going to expand the system. I just turned it online last night. It's been running for probably 12 hours. So far, so good, kind of. Uh, there's a little little problem, so I'm just going to show you how it's working right now with you know 12 hours into it and show you the problem that uh, I'm a dumbass for not figuring out before. So here we go. Okay, so here's the system running right now. This is the sump tank. This is where the water is rising and falling and there's a pump in here. This is the pump. So let me show you a quick shot. Hopefully it's not too loud. That's the pump. It's pumping the water up. This is just extra water that I have coming down. If I didn't have that coming down, there'd be too much water coming through here. So the water comes through here, goes all the way up, and it goes into the bottom of this, which is my filter. It's a sand and gravel filter that doesn't have any sand in it right now. But let me show you inside. So all that gravel is filtering the water that pipe over there, that little white pipe, that's where it's going off into the grow beds, which you can see right there. And the rest of the water is going out that two inch output, which overflows down, across, and into the fish tank. And the fish are in there, but I think they're still pretty freaked out right now. So I'm not gonna be able to get a shot of them. So as you can see, the water is pouring in. It's staying the same height because it's overflowing up to this height, which goes back into the grow bed. Or excuse me, back into the sump tank. So that's the cycle. This is the only thing I'll ever have to fill up with water. So you can see it's getting low. But I filled up with water and that is doing all the work. And there's the pipes going into the grow beds, filling it with water. So anyway, here's the problem. I didn't level this thing when I set it up. So I don't know if you could see, but the water, you know, it goes to about there. There's probably an inch and a half there. This side, not so much, it overflows. So I'm gonna have my cousin Sarge, Metamorphous, come over this afternoon, and I'm gonna drain most of this water out, probably fill it up back in here for the most part, and then we're gonna lift it and probably level this side of it. So, yeah. So that's what we got so far. Overall, it's working. The water's flowing. I don't really seem to have too many leaks. I tested out the filter as far as cleaning it out and that actually works better than I thought. So overall I'm happy, the plants are getting their water, the fish seem to be getting their water, um, but I gotta level that fish tank out and I have to make sure that the water that I'm pouring in the fish tank turns over that whole volume of water at least once an hour. So I think there's about 250 gallons in that tank I gotta make sure I'm pouring at least enough water in to flush out 250 gallons every hour. Um, that's usually the general rule of thumb when it comes to fish. You wanna cycle the water at least once an hour through the filter. So anyway, I'll have more updates coming soon as soon as we get this level and make sure things are running and hopefully the fish are better uh, and then I'll let you know. By the way, if you remember back, I had a, a video about my sick koi fish. He's sick again, he's got crap all over him. So that was one of the reasons why I want to, wanted to upgrade this like right away. Just so he has more room to swim, more water, hopefully that helps his immune system a little bit. So hopefully he'll do fine and get better and I'll have an update on him hopefully soon, hopefully a good update. And uh, anyway, that's it for now, so we'll talk to you later.